Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Laser Guided by T Chapman 500. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's jump into the description. There's one laser and two rooms. You must use that laser to help you get all of the cubes required to complete the test. There are some timed elements involved, but you shouldn't feel like you have to race them. No physics exploits are required. If you end up trapped in the second room, you can fire a portal through the panels to a platform on the other side. This is not an exploit, but an intentional escape route. I discovered and fixed three unintended solutions and reworked the anti-trapping mechanism in the exit room. The puzzle is now a bit more difficult, difficult as a result. Note, the timer is set to the maximum allowed value of 30 seconds. Note 2. Turns out there were four unintended solutions to the original puzzle. The fourth one is now fixed. 3. I found and fixed a trapping solution and have cleaned up the ant lines. There is now only one trapping solution left. If you land on the silver, if you land on the silver of land that is not on the faith plate trigger on the center faith plate. There is an intended solution video, and without further ado, let's jump in, shall we? Okay. Cube auto response, so on um, okay, yep, that's cool. Don't mind. Ignore. I was about to say something that didn't really need to say. Okay, so there is a timer there it seems. Okay, so I'm going to want the laser cube. Let's go back and grab that. And we're going to put it up in this room at the top here. Okay, things were happening. Things and stuff were happening. Okay, so we've got another cube here. It's just three of the required elements. Um, it's a little hard to see, actually, what all this stuff up here does. So that... So that's um, so now I just need to point it there, right? So that one turns the laser on. Um, why is that going to that? I don't think I've ever seen an an input, an input going to an input before. That's baffling me. But I think that was all to do the cube. So now I need to move the laser across to that one. If I am understanding this correctly. So let's move the laser cube across a little bit. Okay, so yes, that does open that section there. Excellent. So, I'm going to save. Okay, well, I can see a way to break this because you're you're going to in, you intend for me to your intention is for me to kill this funnel to get this cube. However, I can get it like so. Maybe. So yeah, if that's not what you intend, then you need to move the f move the cube up higher. Because, interestingly now, 
Could I not solve this chamber? I'm guessing not. I'm hoping not. But I'm just interesting. To, I'm just intrigued to see what this does. Escape path there. So I could have done this with a laser cube earlier on. Anyway, so I don't necessarily want that. Okay, that's alright. That's fine. That is what I wanted to see. Oh, so that's an extra requirement. Hold on. Oh, so they're, they're exit requirements. Why do I think they were connected to the cube? That makes much more sense. Okay, so I... I it was hard. For me, I didn't see that there was a gap between them. I saw that as one constant ant line, and that's why I was confused as to why two inputs were connected together. But, yeah, that makes loads more sense now. Okay. Forget the ramblings of an old deluded man. Okay, so now let's go back. And... We need another cube then. We need another cube. Okay. But yeah, that's what the purpose of that is. That's exactly as I thought. We can turn that off. Please go away. So this is the long timer. He was very generous with his time, wasn't he? Jeez. Okay. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to get the laser across to this room. So. How am I going to do that? That's the real question. Okay, so... Oh, it doesn't matter, because I've got... I've, I've opened this up. Yeah, okay, forget that. Forget it. So, I can do this with the light bridge, which is going to take me across to here. You know, let's um, save ourselves a bit of time. So, yeah, that does... The, the laser cube now becomes whatever we want it to be. Okay. So we have an open path. Bravo. Okay, excellent. So then... So what, just to be safe. Just to make sure I... Hit it properly. Okay, gives me the laser. Okay, so we need to redo this. So 
So I just need to work out how we do... Working out what we're going to do with the laser, which is now the sticking point. Essentially, what we can do. So, let's. Oh, but we can't. Here we can. Here we. Yes, we can. Sorry, I'm all. I'm all over the place right now with my thought process. Okay, so ignore the light bridge. I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna save here. So, I'm going to want to put the portal here. But I need to press this first. Press this button. Place a portal there. I should stop the funnel. Start timer. Got the cube, and now we are ready for the exit. Right, so we're done in here. One cube, two cubes, three cubes, and then we need to adjust the laser, so that it's So, press the button, and we are out of here, boys and girls. All right, well, um, I wouldn't say it was a, I wouldn't say it was a difficult puzzle. I would not. I do think I exploited it though. I think the idea was when the cube's in there, you're meant to put a portal on uh, in there and in here to make the cube drop. But yeah, because it's so low, it's the same height as like the ceiling there. You can actually just drop into the funnel and, and fling up to it. So if that's not intended, you could quite easily just move it up another block and then you'll prevent people. I mean, it's not a massive break, but um, I don't think what I did was intended. Other than that, um, I think everything else was intended. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match load to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to my Google form. I'll link that's in the description. But until next time, I've been Ock, you've been awesome. See ya.